Hi hotties, today I have 15 outfit ideas to show you and I'm really excited. I don't know if there's a ghost in my apartment, but they'll see my 15 outfits too. Anyways, I'm really excited about this video because it's interactive. I asked you on Instagram to send me some theme suggestions or occasions, aesthetics that you want me to try out and style for you guys. I actually did a video like this two years ago and I was watching it again and I was like, damn, like I, I was giving the outfits, the editing, like can I outdo the doer? Oh, also, uh, my hair is new, if you care. This is cool. I just got it cut yesterday. I really, really like it. I went for a little bit more of a blunt bang look. A lot of you suggested that I do it, so here, there it is. Let's get this party started, people. They suggested that I would style an outfit that would be the outfit if I was a cartoon character because usually cartoon characters wear the same look for the entire time. So I was trying to think what pieces do I wear a lot and also feel confident in and this is what I came up with. Y'all know I love to accessorize so I already have all my earrings in and I'm going to complete it with this cute little necklace. I love wearing the color red and I also love bows so I'm gonna tie one right here. Oh that was bad. Oh that was bad. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. And with that, the outfit is complete. Can we take a second for the bell too? Like, that's so precious. I think it's really cute, but sometimes when I'm walking around, I'm like, damn, I cannot be sneaky. Like, people know I'm coming, but I want to turn heads, okay? What cartoon do you guys picture me in? I would really love to be in Totally Spies or like in a Bratz movie, but this is the entire outfit. If you've been following me for a bit, you'll know every single one of these pieces. I wear these to death. This corset top is always my go-to. I think it is so flattering. It's very basic, so it matches with a lot of pieces. The amount of times I've worn this skirt since I've gotten it is actually a little bit embarrassing. I wear it all the, all the time. I feel like there's just a lot of visual interest because of the little flap right here and the buttons. Then I just throw on a pair of docks because I wear these to death as well. You really can't go wrong with them. And y'all know, I love me a platform shoe. Really all I wear, so I think this is the perfect outfit outfit that of pieces that I wear all the time but I think would still be really cute as a little cartoon character like come on come on the next outfit is based on an aesthetic also I hope my mom is not watching this video because I know I'm wearing shoes in the house I'm so sorry I have to show my hotties the full outfit so it is what it is but the aesthetic that I'm trying to Keyword trying to style is Acubi. Acubi? I'm so sorry. I know I'm butchering it. But what I've gathered from my research is that there's a strong point for subversive basics. So basically, like interesting cuts, layering. I saw a lot of layering. And also, the color palette is very neutral. Usually, not that many colors. I saw a lot of gray. So I thought this top would be perfect because, yeah. It's gray, but also it's I think it's a little bit of a subversive basic because of the interesting asymmetricalness that's going on. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. I know I'm trying to generalize an entire aesthetic with one outfit, but this is this is what I came up with and I think it looks okay. I also saw a lot of baggy pants, like parachute pants. I think that a pair of headphones would really tie this look together. Let's see. Honestly, I think this outfit is super cute. What do you think? A lot of you ask that I dress in a kind of coquette, ballet core kind of vibe. When I think of coquette, I think of braids and bows. So I did both of them here and also lace. Got him. I threw on the dreamiest little skirt. I love it so much. And you know what's so exciting is that you can zip it. So then you can have a little bit of skin, like be a little scandalous. I love thigh high socks and I'm gonna throw on these beautiful, beautiful shoes. I think they really complete the look, obviously. Can't dance in them, can barely walk in them, but they look cute, right? <laughs> I feel like a princess in this outfit. I think it's gorgeous. This makes me just want to have a little tea party with like those tiny little sandwiches and like macarons. I literally don't even want to move on to the next outfit because this one is just it. Like, she's just that girl. I know everyone is on a Barbie craze right now. Did you watch the movie? I really liked it. But if I'm gonna be honest, 
I'm a Bratz girl, okay? Like Bratz, that was more my style. So I was really excited when someone suggested that I dress up like a Bratz doll. I'm also gonna like kind of bundle this into like early 2000s. I love early 2000s fashion. I was born in 2000, so I didn't really get to live through that. So I'm gonna live out those dreams now. I feel like these glasses would match perfectly. Let's see. Oh. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is the outfit that I came up with. Brats wear a lot of pink, so I thought this would be perfect. I really like the kind of like jewel detailing right here. The print, I think it's fab. It's not a Bratz look or an early 2000s look without a really tiny, tiny skirt. This is actually a skirt, so don't worry about that. <laughs> the gold detailing on the belt plus the glasses, I think really tie this whole look in together. Had to put on my big stompers because come on, come on. I think this is totally Bratz. I just feel, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Tell me why I haven't even filmed half of my outfits and it's already been an hour and a half. I gotta speed through. I'm sweating. Next up is the model off duty. When I was looking at inspo, I saw that a lot of the silhouettes were tight top, big bottoms. I think Bella Hadid has the best model off duty outfits, but I kind of wanted to do like a mix between her outfits and also like the traditional model off duty. I'm gonna add a pair of sunglasses to kind of match the black bra and also kind of like that don't talk to me energy. And to bring out the final boss, headphones, like this pairing, lethal. The glasses even say, don't look at me. <laughs> As you can see, the silhouette is tidy top, big bottoms. I feel like models off duty like to wear jeans a lot, so that's why I threw on a pair of jeans, some docks, because you can't go wrong. I absolutely adore this top. It has a really beautiful tie right here, the cutout. Do I look like I'm about to tip off the paparazzi so that I look really hot walking across the street? I don't know what else those A-lister models do, but I only see them crossing the street and stuff. Or like opening, opening a car door. <laughs> Someone commented that they wanted me to dress like be mysterious in a city where no one knows you and when I saw that I knew I had to do it. It's very like main character energy. When I am in a new city, I really do love the idea that like no one knows who I am. And you can really try to change the narrative with that. I don't know. For this look, I wanted to be super comfortable. So I put on this little white mini dress. This was actually a huge contender for like the cartoon character prompt I got because I wear this dress a lot. I think it fits perfectly. It's so flattering, I think. And I don't know, I love it so much, of course. Come on. I'm a huge Doc Martin stan because it took so long to break these in. Like my feet were bleeding like every day trying to break these in. So I'm gonna take every moment I can because now they're finally like molded to my feet and I can wear them very comfortably now. I think a way to achieve the feeling of being like mysterious and kind of having people give you a double take is just wearing something pretty basic and accessorizing pretty well. I mean, obviously this is not, it's not anything crazy, but I don't know. I feel like a cutie. I feel like if I saw me walking somewhere, I would be like, wow, she looks really cute. <laughs> and of course, nothing says mysterious more than a big old pair of sunnies. I just love how huge they are. I look like a bug in the best way possible. Honestly, I really think that the sunnies tied it all together. My camera is not recognizing my face anymore because I think that these sunnies are too big. And honestly, like when I'm wearing big sunglasses, I feel like that girl, like the world revolves around me. And that's the type of energy you need when you're the main character. The next occasion I'm dressing up for is being your little airport crush. I love this idea. I'm actually so excited because I'm gonna be traveling a couple times by the end of the year and I'm really excited and it really got my gears turning. I'm like, damn, how can I look sexy for these people that I know probably don't care about me and they just wanna get on their damn plane, but I still wanna look like a cutie. And I think a huge thing is that comfort is like the main priority here. And I thought that the easiest way to be comfy but cute is a little matching set like this. I'm also gonna wear a pair of Uggs because I feel like that's such an airport staple. Just try to find something that's super stretchy and comfortable like this. It also has a hood. I would say that this hood is very 
small so i don't think i'd be hiding from anyone with this hood headphones are an airport must or just flights in general honestly these ones are so good at noise canceling because in the plane you cannot hear like all the crying babies or even just like plane noises and how it's just like buzzing everywhere it's actually really nice when i wear these on the plane for the first time so yeah this is the whole fit if you saw me in the airport would you have a crush on me i would have a crush on you Getting loser, we're going clubbing. Okay, I know that this top, the girls are showing, but I think that's like the norm for when you're going out. It's a typically a little bit more revealing. So this is the top. I really like halter tops. I think this part is super interesting and cool. I like this little hook detailing right here. Throw on a pair of skinny black pants because I feel like that just fits the kind of clubbing scene a little bit more. They're not too tight though, so you can still dance around. For all my baby clubbers out there, I would say the attire is mostly like black pretty dark colors i remember for the first time i went clubbing i was like girl what do i wear like what what do i do and i would say that this is kind of the vibe that i go for each time i go out don't really like wearing skirts or dresses just because they can ride up and also like you know like there's icky people out there so i just i typically like to wear pants it would depend on the day if i want to show the girls off but i paid for them they're gonna be shown off if i want them to be all in all wear a comfy pair of shoes Y'all know, y'all know the drill. Stay safe and dance your little heart out, baby. If I'm one thing, I'm a concert girly, okay? I can't even count how many concerts I've been in the past year or so. I just love the energy. It's just so great to be in a space with people that have a common interest as you. I feel like for every concert, the outfits are gonna be different because you kind of want to match the vibe of their songs or just brand in general. But I feel like this one is a pretty easy one that would kind of match with a lot of different bands and everything like that. I try to go for a kind of like rock star girlfriend type vibe. I kept the base and the shoes from the last outfit but i threw on this red leather jacket because again rock star vibes i think the star of the show though is this belt it's super sparkly and fun when i wore this to a concert once i went through security and the man was like wow your belt is really sparkly and i said yes sir it is like i don't know what do you want me to say about that Obviously, I know it's sparkly. That's why I wore it. But yeah, I think this is a really cute concert outfit for like most concerts. Under the leather jacket though, I have a just nice little basic, oh no. A nice little basic top like this. Because if your concert is GA, baby girl, let me tell you, it's gonna be musty in there, okay? It's gonna be sweaty. People are gonna smell and you don't want to be sweating in your leather jacket. Always have a little tank top or something under so your body can breathe. Even just this, I feel like is a really cool look. Hottie, did you think that I was gonna talk about concerts and not do one specifically for K-pop? Girl, it's my time to shine, I'm ready for this. I think it's the cutest thing ever when people go to concerts and dress up as their bias. So this is me telling Hybe, Please send La Seraphim here. I literally love them. I am in awe every single time. I like look at them, listen to their music, anything. So I thought I would dress up as my bias Yoonjin because, oh my God, like literally our minds. Because we have the same top. I don't know if she actually owns this or if this is just for like a performance, but I'm gonna say we own the same top. So using that as a little base, I wanted to loosely recreate her outfit. Wait, cause I have bangs now. Do I like push them? I think I should push them. I feel like it looks kind of funny when they're just poking out like that. I don't have a hat that was like as similar as hers, but at least this is a white big hat. And I, I'm gonna count that as a win. La Seraphim's concept is pretty like badass girl. Like she's really, I'm fearless. So I thought I would pair it with this kind of utility skirt. I just threw on a pair of platform sneakers because when you're at a concert, you wanna be as tall as possible. So with these, I'm about like, five three five four so but not too tall where i'm blocking people don't worry but yeah this is my little take on recreating her outfit of course it's not a match but i try my best and i think it's really cute i should try to do like an ending fairy i love when they go wait which is the one that goes like That was literally the most embarrassing thing I've done. I'm so sorry if you don't actually like K-pop and you're watching this portion. I know I look insane. We'll move on. A lot of you guys asked me to dress in the downtown girl aesthetic. And tell me why. I did not know what y'all were talking about. I was like, 
Am I old? There's so many different categories of styles now that I just couldn't keep up. So again, I did a little bit of research and I say research, I literally just scrolled on Pinterest. But what I gathered is that it's kind of like a New York City aesthetic, but also at the same time kind of girl next door. I saw a lot of Brandy Melville pieces, so this is what I'm wearing today. Started off with the top. I feel like it's, I don't know. I can't really explain it, but I think it fits the vibe. feel like I saw a lot of denim too. So I threw on these kind of like boot cut jeans. They're not too baggy, I think. I don't know. I saw lots and lots of leather jackets. So I'm just gonna throw this one on. This one, I don't know if it's a little bit too oversized. Hmm, I think it is a little bit too oversized. I hope you guys are catching my drift. Don't look at the front. The back, I think this looks nice. I'm really not feeling confident right now. I keep scrolling on Pinterest trying to validate myself that this is a downtown girl aesthetic. And I, and I don't think I got it, but I did see a lot of docks, so I might throw these on. But also, I'm trying to go for that like New York City kind of commuter vibe. These sneakers might look cool, but I don't know. None of the colors are matching, so I think I'm just gonna go with the docks. Lots of tote bags too, so I think that. Oh wait, is this cute? I think this is cute. It's kind of like a bookstore look with a little tote bag, but then without the leather jacket. I think she's ready to go grocery shopping or just kind of like run in the town the downtown <laughs> the struggle of trying to figure out an outfit for your first date is astronomical so i'm here as your big sis try to help you out i really love this top because it's a little bit flirty okay you got some collarbone some shoulder action but just one you know like it's just a little bit flirty and then i just throw on a pair of skinny jeans they have a little boot cut at the end i just think flared bottoms are super flattering and of course you want to like feel and like look like your best self when you're on a first date you're already so nervous to hang out with them you don't know if you guys are gonna like mesh well but at least you know that you're a sexy girl and that they're lucky to be on a date with you okay some sneakers to keep it a little casual i feel like i picture this outfit hmm what's a like cute little first date maybe like brunch maybe shopping around i don't know like pottery like doing like color mine or something i don't know i think that would be such a cute little first date idea <laughs> This next one kind of threw me in for a doozy because they asked for like a cute study like library outfit and then right after you have a girl's night out. And I was like, how am I going to figure out an outfit that is both library and like school appropriate and then going out to the clubs appropriate? And I have a little brain. So literally what I thought of was that this would be your like little library outfit. Honestly, I love baggy on baggy. And I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but the whole idea of it is that I'm wearing like a really big comfy hoodie and then comfy pants. It doesn't necessarily have to be parachute pants, but I will say parachute pants are the comfiest pants I own. So I feel like this would be really cute to just like study in. You're kind of just like snuggled. And the totally revolutionary idea of how to transition this to a clubbing outfit is to wear a like clubbing-ish top underneath and just take off the jacket. <laughs> I am very smart. I know. <laughs> but I opted for this tube top right here because I think it's still cute for actually going out and like dancing the night away. You're not studying anymore. This is awesome. But then when you actually are studying, a tube top underneath isn't too uncomfortable because typically going out and like clubbing tops are honestly really uncomfortable and you just like don't want that energy while you're studying. I think a tube top is like a perfect little middle ground. I wouldn't say that this is the best clubbing outfit. I mean, I think I could do a lot better but if you're going to be transitioning from studying to clubbing, like, this is all I got. This is the best that I could do for you. <laughs> I got a few suggestions asking if I could put together an outfit for a solo date, and I thought that was so lovely. I think a little claw clip hairstyle would look really cute with this outfit. When I think of a solo date, like, you're showing up for yourself, you know? Like, you're doing this for you and only you, so you want to feel cute. And honestly, I feel the most cute and comfortable in a maxi dress like this. Who said you only have to dress up for, like, your date or anything like that? Like, you're your own date. Dress up for you. I'm thinking this could be really cute for a little museum. Go to a cafe or something. And I'm thinking because, yeah, it does look a little fancy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna dress it down with a pair of sneakers. I've honestly, I felt a little iffy about like having a pair of running sneakers with a kind of fancier dress, but I've been seeing a lot more people do it. I think it looks 
to you. I think you just need to open your mind to it. But obviously, if you don't like sneakers and dresses, then don't wear it. But <laughs> I'm just gonna do this right now. And this is the whole look. It looks really fancy, but it's so comfortable. And I think that's the best clothing item that you can have. I don't really like sacrificing comfort for the way that it looks. So we get the best of both worlds with this dress. We're hour four of filming and we're at the finish line, baby. This is the last outfit. I got a lot of you asking for like corporate type outfits because a lot of you guys are now post-grad, you guys just graduated. And I was thinking, I was like, okay, what wisdom can I show you guys? Because I'm literally a YouTuber. My job is to literally take videos and pictures and I could just be in pajamas and it wouldn't matter. So I tried my best with this. I feel like this is kind of the most basic corporate outfit, but I think it's still really cute. So this is the outfit that I actually wore to my TED talk. And I think it kind of meshes with like a kind of corporate business casual-ish vibe, so. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with a pair of good trousers. I love these so much. They're actually originally low-waisted, but I kind of just like hiked them up and put it with a belt so you're not showing your tummy because this top is actually kind of cropped. So I kind of just tucked it in there. Literally, if you go on Pinterest and search up corporate outfit, this is like one of the first that comes up. It's so basic, I'm sorry, but yeah, I still think it's really nice and I think you can switch up the colors, switch up the silhouettes really easily. I threw on this pair of docks, but I think loafers would actually look a bit better. They're just in Martin's car and I'm too lazy to get them, so we're wearing these right now. I know corporate girlies love their blazers, so I have this one. I really like it because it's a bit cropped, so it still keeps your shape and silhouette, but it looks just a little bit more fancy. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. All right, all right. Thank you so much for watching. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun filming with you guys. I hope that you have some like inspiration from these outfits. I tried a lot of new different things today. So let me know which one was your favorite one. I'm really curious. Thank you again for sticking around and I love you so much. Bye.